Totally Accurate Battle Simulator has just gotten something a little bit strange and peculiar. These, at first glance, may look like bowling pins with helmets on them. No, these are actually castle towers and these are castle walls. We now have a castle walls mod that is available in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And we want to see just how good they are. So if you load up like any sandbox map you want, you can, in theory, build a castle. I can build a castle door here and then start dragging now you can do it this way but i'm not sure if that's the best one because each one quote unquote counts as an entity right so and i'm actually curious if like the castle door allows people through it or not so in order to test that theory just how in depth is this we're gonna make a conga line of footmen oh wait a minute are they able to go through it? They are. Okay, so walls are more of like projectile blockers than anything else. Okay, so then classic, like when you first learn to draw, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna draw a castle today. And we even have walled sides. These towers have the ability to kind of like freeze people in place, which I really enjoy. I think that's a nice feature because oftentimes you wanna have a siege and it's not really a siege if the defenders are running outside to fight. That's just a regular battle. So now we need sidewalls. Now, naturally, if the king of the castle dies, well, you lose, right? All right, so now we have this king that must survive. Like, that's a relatively formidable force, especially considered that these walls should block. This is 26 archers, so we'll say it's like about 30-ish men, right? So what we want is a two-column attack of footmen. You can tell they're footmen because, well, they have feet. 25 men in each. And then we'll have some archers in the middle. Now, the idea here is on this siege that the catapults will hopefully target the footmen on the flanks and not the archers who we're going to need to deal the most damage here. So imagine this, the perspective of the sieging army. Arrows are being fired left and right. Some of the arrows are actually taking out these wall sections. Catapults are firing, but the strategy is uh, more or less working. Now, as the footmen reach the walls, they're going to have to hack their way through it. And it looks like the towers are actually counterattacking. And the walls continue to absorb most of these arrows, leaving these archers healthy and able to return fire and defend their castles. So I'm thinking maybe the issue is... Well, when sieging a castle, what do you need? What do you need to implement a siege? You need the equipment that is used in sieging, right? This is, this is elementary, my dear Watson. We are going to use ballistas. We'll start with ballistas that do some of the most damage in the game, then move to catapults, and then to this secret weapon of the ancient world, the Hawacho, which rocket fires basically giant arrows. Somewhere between a fully automatic archer, and a ballista. Let the siege begin, gentlemen, fire the ballistas. All right, both ballistas are knocked, cocked, and ready to rock, and let's see which target are they gonna go after. I'm hoping they go after these towers. Ooh, okay. They knocked the towers over. Did they kill them? If the towers rise up, no, they, okay. Ballistas are able to one-shot wall sections. They both targeted the towers, and I'm not sure if that's just because that was the closest element of the wall to them. Oh, did you see that? These little things that popped up from the walls blocked ballista bolts. Look at this, man. This is incredible. That's an interesting way of blocking projectiles in a siege. Now, I guess the other thing that we can use is the siege piece that basically ended the use of, well, let's build a giant castle. And that is the cannon. We also have cannons and bomb cannons. All right, we've lost all of our siege equipment. And as a result, we must go back to the drawing board. Like, if they have, what, 26, I believe, archers, and we have, like, 50 footmen, and then about 16 archers, we should win, right? But we're not, because, well, to put it frankly, these castles are working. They may look derpy, and they may not, like, totally make sense, but they are totally accurate castle walls, right? Oh, man, the, the counter-attacking catapults are pretty huge. Catapults don't seem to do very well against these castle sections. We need something that does more damage, I think. Yeah, now the enemy archers are returning fire and just wiping us out. We haven't even gotten close to killing this king, the target of our castle siege here, because if we kill the king, then we get his empire. It's like a game of risk. Oh my God, that game would be brilliant. Risk, but battles 
are fought like totally at a battle similar. Tell me that's not brilliant. But Baron, there's the Total War series. You shut your mouth, logical person. All right, it's time to bring in, well, some of the bigger guns. Hawatches. Hawatches gonna hwatch. I believe that like a hwatcha is the noun. So what's the verb? I'd like to think it's hwatch. We need to hwatch them. Excuse me, prepare the hwatcha. We must hwatch. Hwatch. It's like saying wheat thins. I don't know. It's just, it's just weird, all right? All right, Hawatches are more or less just absorbed by castle walls. We are throwing our swords at the enemy castle. It's just a lesson in futility, I think. But we have gotten multiple salvos off. I think these castle walls just have like a significant amount of health. So can the invention of the cannon do it? Oh, wow. They're really good at destroying and moving these wall sections, so they shouldn't be able to absorb as many arrows this time around. But they have a relatively low rate of fire. They are able to, oh, not necessarily one shot a tower, but physically move it out of the way. So cannons are better than Hawachas and better than catapults, which is interesting. Like ballistas shouldn't be like the siege piece that's good at destroying walls. Well, but here we are. There are a few surviving archers. Can one of these guys get the final shot on the king? Looks like there might be just enough defending archers to return fire. I think there's like, what, three, two? It's not a lot. This one's gonna come down to the wire, actually. Cannons, just like what, the siege of Constantinople might be the deciding factor. Now we're still gonna try exploding cannons just to see what it'd be like. This is gonna work. This is gonna do it. Who gets the final shot on the king? You must defeat him. Come on, someone. Oh, there we go. This cannon looks like it's aiming right at the king. It went through his chest. What the heck just happened there? Did he block it? Now he's got an arrow sticking out, okay, of his wrist. King, we who are about to die salute. Well, you're about to die, so you should salute us. He's just tanked two cannonballs to his rib cage. Two cannonballs. Somebody shoot the man. There we go. The third time is the charm. Now, just for the sake of learning, I do want to use bomb cannons. Now, how do exploding cannon shells do? I mean, these things have to just destroy this wall section. Oh yeah. Taking up multiple wall sections allows them to blow huge holes. Oh yeah, and disrupt the archers. This is gonna work. I think some of these footmen might actually get close enough to kill some archers, but they're going after the wall sections because it's a totally accurate castle, not a regular one. <laughs> oh guys, come on. I wanna see one footman charge this king before you guys get catapulted because that's definitely gonna happen. But yeah, needless to say, bomb cannons, very effective. But there's one thing I wanna try, and that is how does a shield wall advancing towards a heavily defended castle look like what's the best way to attack it via infantry units all right there we go this king is just getting like turned into a porcupine of arrows oh man it looks like he's like brushing his teeth or he's like one of those farmers that's got a piece of hay stucking out not sticking out when you're a farmer it's stucking out oh the king's like all right i will no longer hold my ground oh soaking up explosive cannonballs get him boy <laughs> He fought bravely, but he did die. Now what we need is a really good map to put these castles on, and the bridge looks like that map. So this is the defending castle, and it looks pretty good. Like, there's only one way to assault it right now. There are a lot of defending archers, and I just wanna do the old classic bum rush. Conga line of swords. There are 100 red knights, or red footmen rather, uh, well, uh, make that a little bit less than a hundred because it looks like a bunch of them just decided, you know what? Instead of attacking a fort, I'm just gonna die. Better to die my way than their way. And look at this concentration of arrow fire going out of this fort and just destroying all these guys. But there is a ton of people and somehow this man is living a blessed life. Okay, until the castle towers decide, you know what? I'm gonna attack you. Look at, okay, I don't know what happened, but it's like we're breaking tabs. We created like hovering ghostly headstones. The footmen are getting absolutely destroyed. Wait a minute. 
A flag bearer is deciding to fight some of them, but they all got absolutely wrecked. So I think even though we had 100 people and greatly outnumbered the attacking forces and there was a way in through the front of the castle, we're going to need something a little bit different. Oh yes, I remember. What if? I mean, the Greeks invented the Hoplon shield, right? I believe they did, or they used it. What about lowering our numbers by a little bit more than half, but giving our attackers huge shields? Oh yeah, this guy's smart. He's like, not only will I have a huge shield, but I will also have a slightly smaller head. Look at these guys' heads difference. So, you know, uh, a smaller surface area to hit. He's blocked three arrows so far. I just love arrows and shields and tabs. That's probably the coolest thing. Oh my god, he, even though he had a small head. Okay, he got hit in like the clavicle arm area. But like when you see a guy walking up with a shield, ooh, headshot. And they've just like absorbed so many arrows. How did that guy die? By an arrow to the arm? That's just giving up. Oh, right in his neck. This is brutal. Attacking a castle is no joke, man. But it does look like hoplite. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say the hoplites look like they took the fort, but these towers being able to pull these <laughs> secret moves out of their buttholes and just like pop these things all over the map. Oh my God. I don't even know if any of the archers are even dead. None of them. You're kidding me. Oh my God. Okay. What we need is we're going to try a more modern shield wall on an armed shield wall. And we're going to use Vikings. I think their shields might be a little bit better at blocking arrows. And we're going to give them 60 guys and see if they're able to do it. But I mean, as silly as the castles look, they're doing their dang jobs. Uh, these Vikings may have had way too much mead or something because only one actually made it to the enemy force and he's actually doing good once he got there he took out a few of them now if i don't put them all back there and i just fill up this huge area with 70 of these guys will the ai be smart enough so they don't die or will they start oh my god they're doing it again this is one of the greatest mysteries i've seen in tabs it doesn't make sense i don't think <laughs> what what is this this is so ridiculous. I'm not even sure if any of them have died to arrows yet. There we go. We actually had two die to arrows. Three. Three have died to arrows. Four. Everybody else just... Nope. I'm, I'm jumping. Okay. The Vikings cannot be trusted. I don't know why. Now, there is the hay balers. They get 74 because reasons. Now, these guys aren't walking off the cliff. They're walking in a straight line. I, I really have no explanation as to why the Vikings did what they did. Now, they've got those tombstone things, but these guys are slightly decently armed at uh, uh, against arrows. You pretty much have to hit them in the head, legs, or arms, and the hay bales are incredible at absorbing arrows. Okay, now instead of going for the archers, like that, that would make sense, uh, most of them are fanning out and <laughs> attacking the castle walls. <laughs> This is hilarious. Oh my goodness. Okay. So the shield wall technique finally worked. When you use Vikings who are professionally trained soldiers, no, they, they don't work. But you wrap a little hobbit in hay and all of a sudden you've taken the castle? What is this game? It doesn't even make sense sometimes. All right. Wheelbarrow cavalry for the memes. Charge! Oh man, I really hope they just barrel through. Oh, the first guys are gonna get absolutely wrecked and they might create a log jam and roadblock, but we'll see. Oh, there we go. It worked. Cavalry have taken the castle. Oh, it's an absolute rout. And look at them running into the castle walls. Oh my God, that was glorious. Okay. But one of the coolest things, obviously, if arrows against shields is really cool, a Roman Testudo shield wall is one of the coolest ways to see a castle siege. All right, they're all on the narrow part. Now, how many of these guys are going to walk off the cliff? <laughs> As if on Q5 just spilled. Guys, put the shields over your head. And you probably won't die nearly as much. Oh, we've got a roadblock log jam that is forcing people to fall off the sides. Oh no, it's not looking good. But look at that. They're definitely better at absorbing arrows than I think any of the other shields because, well, look at the surface area of that thing. Much like most of life, especially if you're an engineer, is all about surface area. 
Shield walls. Shield walls, too, are about surface areas. Oh, they've broken through. I wish you could have a guy like this where, like, once he gets in close, like, within a certain proximity, he throws his shield down and pulls out a knife or a sword and starts engaging in, like, more efficient melee combat. Now, what's interesting is I think the last thing that I wanted to try is probably the most ridiculous. What's funny is when you put pikemen in, they spin around in a circle, which is not good. Because that means right when we start, people are going to start flying as they start to adjust their pikes. But I remember hearing that, like, a pike phalanx was supposed to be able to, like, block arrows in some regard. And I just never thought that made much sense. Granted, I never fought with Alexander the Great, and he's Alexander the Great, and I'm just Baron, not Baron the Great. Or am I? But, I mean, these guys, how are you guys alive? And you're not. Yeah, stab that wall. How are we doing? The pike phalanx doesn't look like it's very, very good. Look at, look at this. The uh, lack of coordination here. <laughs> look at all these spears just sitting here. All right. Now, Renaissance does have the jouster. That is a lot of horses. I think they're going to make it. I think they're going to make it, and they're going to absolutely destroy this fort, even though some of them, well, a lot of them are going to die. <laughs> but most of like, they didn't take out too many on that first salvo. Oh, yeah. That is an easy win for the castle siege. All the archers are down. The castle has been taken. So totally accurate castle sieges. Uh, it seems that shield walls are really good, but cavalry attacks if the doors are left open are even better. Thank you for watching another episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. If you did enjoy the video and you do want to see more, we'll pull a trigger and like button and let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.